I'm Lisa Michelle, and I want to show you how you can create an easy ebook using Designer Word Genie. So whether you're using your ebook to sell uh, just for revenue, or if you're using it as a free lead magnet, or if you're creating it almost as a PLR product, Word Genie makes it really easy. So I've already kind of started, but I want to go back to the beginning just to show you how you can actually use this. So you see I'm on the home page of Designer, and Word Genie is here. And what it is is an AI powered tool that will help you create a unique ebook. All right. Now it does take credits and you do get a hundred thousand credits for free with the standard plan. And with the book that I'm going to show you, it used about, I think it was about 17, 18,000 credits. So I used a lot of them. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and just show you how you can do this. So the first thing you want to do is let word genie know what your topic or niche is and my uh, topic was journaling. Okay, so I'm just going to put journaling in there. You don't need a whole lot, just the basic concept and the language that you want it in, which is English. You can add a theme to your project, but I didn't do that. Um, but I did choose what sub niches I wanted, and it was gratitude journaling. All right, so I clicked on next. And then for this uh, space, you want to put the audience that your book is targeted towards. So real estate agents, restaurant owners, parents, mine was uh, targeted to moms. All right, so I put moms in there and clicked on next. And then the next step was to pick a title for the book. All right, and um, I forgot the name of mine, but you can see here, it gives you pretty good suggestions. Mom's Gratitude Journal, a journal for cultivating thankfulness. The Power of Mom's Gratitude, a journal to transform everyday life, uh, the Mom's Gratitude Handbook, and so on. And if you don't like any of these suggested titles, you can just click on Regenerate Suggested Titles to get more ideas. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick one just to be able to advance to the ne next point. Mom's Gratitude Journal or Journal for Cultivating Thankfulness, and then click on Next. Now it'll start to generate an outline for you and you can kind of see your the skeleton of the book coming to life all right so here we are so it gives you you know the chapters and the sub chapters that will be written all right so you can just get an idea of what the final book will look like and you can edit this um, you know if you don't like the titles or subtitles you can go in here and you can change it or you can delete the whole thing if you don't want it to be as long. All right. So we could delete it if we didn't want it to address that particular subtitle or if we didn't want this chapter in there, we could just take out the whole chapter. But I was happy with the suggestions that it gave me. So I just went ahead and had it create my book as it suggested. All right. So I'm just going to go up to drafts and click on this which is actually going to put my um i'm sorry it's going to send my draft into the project uh section all right so the first thing you would do once you actually finish compiling your book because that will take about maybe three or four minutes to do it'll give you some suggestions for your book cover and it'll give you the front cover and the back cover so you just want to kind of look and see what would make sense for your book title, subject, and your target audience. And because mine is about gratitude journals for moms, I wanted to find something that would make sense for that. And I didn't want to take up too much time on that in the video, but just scrolling down so you can get an idea of the types of covers they offer. Um, this is yoga. Yeah, I could have used that one as well. But the one that I chose was um, this one up here. And you can preview the cover so you can see what the front and back would look like before you actually, you know, say you want to go ahead and use it. So that was the back cover, table of contents, and the front cover. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use this template. Okay, so everything is here. Uh, this is the cover. It gives the table of contents, shows you all of the chapters, and I believe they're seven chapters and it's 89 pages and so you could just scroll through to make sure everything's formatted properly everything looks pretty good all right so of course you can make changes to it 
um, you can add text. You can, you know, write additional text in here if you wanted to. Um, you could take things out. If there were sections that you didn't like, you just click on here and you could just delete it. You can change the image in the on the front. First of all, let me just change this font. Um, it's really big. I want it to at least fit in the box. Um, if I wanted to change this image, I could just click on this little box right here, go to this little icon, and then go over here, suggested images, suggested images or, or your own images, or you can just type something in. So let's say I put in ocean, it'll give me images of the ocean. So all I have to do is just click on this right here, and it'll move it over here. All right, so if you don't like the image that's here, but you like the rest of the formatting, you can just keep the formatting and then come over here and you can just change, change the image. Um, so that's one thing I like about this. It makes it easy to design a cover if you don't have design skills. All right, so um, let's see, I changed the font. Um, you know, you can move things around relatively easy. All right, then I could change the font color so that it'll actually stand out against the light background, but that's not a design tutorial. I just want to show you how you can do that on your own relatively easily. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, you can change different uh, things about it. Like, let's say, for example, this bottom footer. Because of this blue, it's difficult to read. So if you want to change the color on every page, all I have to do is just double click or select this and make sure this is toggled on. It says make changes to all elements. If I change the color here with this selected, it'll change, it'll change it to blue throughout the whole, um, throughout the whole book. Okay. So I'll change it to black and double click it then select choose. And then it'll be black throughout the whole thing. Uh, I could do the same thing with this title. If I wanted this to be some purple or pink, as long as that's toggled on, and I select choose, it'll change it throughout the whole book. Um, let's see, we could jump to the back cover. Same thing, if you didn't like this image in the back, you can just select here, click on image. Um, and then, I mean, you could put whatever you want, right? Right, it just makes it really easy to design. And then I'll select this to make it stand out. It just gives you the lorem ipsum text, but just like any other book cover on the back, you could put something on here that will you know, entice your readers to read the whole book. And you can change this however you like. All right, so make sure that you do read through it because it is AI and AI is not 100% correct 100% of the time. So I'm going to read through it just to actually see what it really did come up with. Um, so read it before you offer it um, for sale or even even for free. And then once you are happy with it, you can go ahead and save it. All right. Or you can save it and publish it and then read it. And then you can always go back and edit it later if you want. So once you're happy with this, the next thing to do is just to publish it. And you can either publish it as a PDF or you can turn it into a flipbook. Those are the options that I have, but you can also create the Kindle EPUB book or a live ebook. All right, so whatever option you want, you will click on that and then click on export. So I'm just gonna make it a PDF for now. Click export, it take up to 30 minutes and they'll email it to you when you're done, okay? So let me go ahead and see if it emailed me from the first time because I did do this a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna go to my email and then just see, see if it's there, if it's ready. Once it's done, it will email it to you. Whether you do a flip book or a regular PDF, it'll send it to you, okay? So yeah, so that's really it. That's how easy it is to use Designer to create an ebook or a flip book. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Now, I'm not an expert designer. Um, I played around with it. I have created a few ebooks with it. But if I can answer your questions, I definitely will. Just go ahead and leave them below. If you learned anything from the video or if you like the video, please do not forget to like it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. I appreciate you watching. And of course, until next time, peace.